This video covers the basic installation steps for Fisher & Paykel induction cooktops. Please read installation manual 590-964-B thoroughly for complete instructions. Abide by all state and local codes and use safe installation practices when installing this product. First measure the opening to ensure it is the proper dimensions for the cooktop you are installing. Also ensure the electrical supply meets the requirements. Before opening the box, verify that it is the proper unit you are to install. Carefully unpack the cooktop. Lay the cooktop upside down on a protective surface. Ensure the install manual, foam tape, and clamping brackets are all present. Apply the foam tape to the four edges as seen here. It's a good idea to tape the power supply cable to the bottom of the unit before placing it in the opening. This will keep it from falling off and damaging the countertop. Carefully place the cooktop into the opening, being sure to protect the corners of the cooktop. Ensure it's properly aligned with the cabinetry. Insert the clamping brackets and tighten the screws. Use a minimum of two brackets on opposing sides. Wire up the cooktop according to the diagram in the install manual that corresponds to the supply that is present. Remove the protective tape and turn the cooktop on. Turn each burner on without a pan in place. You should see the no pan symbol flashing in each display. Now place a suitable pan with water in it on a burner and turn it on. Press the far right side of the temperature bar until P appears for a faster response. After a few moments the water should begin to boil. Be sure to leave the owner's manual with the customer before you leave.